Hey, I've decided I'm gonna do these recaps for the Ultimate Fighter 8. This is the first show was on the night, right after the Ultimate Fight. Uh, the no, right after Ultimate Fight Night. They're trying to they're trying to riddle me crazy here, but uh, yeah, first episode of the Ultimate Fighter season eight. Uh, took some notes here. Uh, Felipe Felipe had a heat stroke. He says uh, he kind of fainted, but you know Dana said, called it like it is. He fainted. You know uh, he's nervous. It's understandable. I'd probably shit my pants. So uh, Nogs. Oh, I, I noted here Nogs English is pretty good. You know I always I always didn't know I didn't know he could speak that good of English. I, I can understand him without the subtitles. I don't know. But of course, I barely speak English myself. It's my native tongue. Um, Jason Guida, Guida, Jason Guida, cutting from 217. Pretty uh, crazy. Uh, it's funny when he was in the bath towel and cramping up, and his towel was falling off his crotch and stuff. And it's like, wow, what a sad little man. Because it kind of just all fell apart from there, and he wasn't able to make weight. He was a pound away. He was 207. I think they accept 206. A pound over what he needs to be. He couldn't make it. And he had to go right after that to be pumped with uh, IV fluids. So that was kind of a bummer. But I mean you should be ready. You know you saw last season they make you fight the first you know to get in the house. You gotta fight. So no excuses. Uh, Mike Stewart stepped up. Replaced Guida. And on we went. And the first match was Mike Stewart versus Kristoff. I'm not even going to try to say that guy's last name. It's crazy. We'll just call him Kristoff. And I remember him. He's from, I remember seeing that name before on the IFL. So, uh, Kristoff by Flurry. That's the match. Uh, I don't know how Guida would have fared against Kristoff, but Kristoff looked sharp. He just unloaded on, on uh, Stewart there. Mike poor guy. I mean, he gets a chance to come up and he had the underdog thing going for him, but then bam, just teed off on him. Jab and then a bunch of hooks. Just hooks like crazy. Jab set it up though. So, yeah, good for Kristoff. He looks like an interesting guy. Uh, he really big at 205. I noticed that. He looked really wide and stuff, so I expect good things from him. Uh, got Fernando versus Dave Kaplan. I took a note here. I didn't like Dave Kaplan talking about how he doesn't fight for honor and stuff. He, he wanted to make sure everyone knew he uh, fought for money. So it sounded kind of douchey, but he won. I forgot by what, but he won. Uh, let's see. Then we got Joe Durani versus Felipe Nova. Felipe is the guy that fainted early, earlier. And it's an interesting match. Uh, at one point, Joe had uh, Felipe's back, but uh, Felipe's like just punching the crap out of him like this, and he's doing more damage. In fact, at one point, he just cuts him like this, which is crazy just to, you know, get power from, you know, punching from behind you. It's crazy. That guy's a maniac. Uh, that went to the second round, and then uh, Felipe got the rear and choke and won. Uh, Felipe's one scary dude. Uh, Joe Durante, I've heard of that guy before. You know, he's I think he was supposed to be a favorite going into the house, going into the show. But Felipe, rear and choke. Watch out. You know, I'm already, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm rooting for the guy. Come on, Felipe. Uh, then you got Eric McGee versus Jules Boucher. Um, he, uh, Jules is a uh, he's self-prescribed you know self-described uh, farm boy character and Eric just looks like some kind of really white guy. Uh, rear naked choke by uh, Eric didn't work out, and then Jules is able to reverse and get a rear naked choke of his own, which actually worked. Yeah, the Eric's one was kind of loose. It wasn't like right on the neck, you know. It was it was. It just wasn't tight enough. It was more of an angle, but uh, Jules is was right dead on and got the tap out. And Jules uh, kind of showboated or he talked smack for a while, which uh, the fight wasn't that impressed. You know, not, not that impressive. So, you know, whatever. Then they got uh, Vinny versus Lance Evans, which is 
Rashad Evans' brother. Um, they just showed clips of this fight. They didn't show the whole fight, which makes me lead me to believe it was kind of a boring fight. But at one point, uh, in the end, uh, Lance goes to his corner and says, uh, my ribs are popping out, uh, out of place. So they called the fight, and Vinny won. I didn't catch his last name. Uh, Ryan versus Atone Britt. Uh, another clip show. Uh, they said Britt looked kind of small, but uh, he won, so he's going in the house. But he, they said he looked ferocious and stuff. Scary guy. I guess. Then they had Brandon versus Ryan. Um, no, no, Brian. Brandon versus Brian. Interesting match here. Uh, Brian was getting most of it on the ground. He was winning it, I would say. Then uh, Brandon uh, finally works himself back to his feet, and then Brian's following suit, and uh, Brandon just nails him with an uh, illegal knee while uh, Brian is still on the ground. It was close, though. It was almost, if he waited just a millisecond more, uh, Brian would have been standing up enough to for it to count. But it seemed like he was down. He wasn't in a down position. It was very close, though. You know, I've seen I've seen more blatant knees get by. But anyway, they called it on that one. And the, uh, Brian was really lightheaded and he couldn't continue to fight, which is a shame. But in something that they usually don't do which is pretty cool they went ahead and uh, put Brian in the house instead of Brandon since it wasn't Brian's fault you know so Brian goes in the t into the house due to a legal knee so that's interesting alright here's the inter most interesting fight they had uh, they had Junie Browning versus well I didn't write down his full name he just said call me Freddy so let's call him Freddy and Freddy is a little Hispanic guy, and he, he said he, he he relates to the likes of Hitler and Napoleon, and he named all these names, and it's like, why, Freddy? And he was like, I'm a straight-up criminal and stuff. It was really bizarre, you know? I mean, you, you can't cheer for a guy who says, I'm like Hitler. <laughs> you kind of just look at him funny, and that's what I did. And Junie, though... Uh, he had some good one-liners. He's just hitting them right after another. You know, he's saying that uh, Freddie has a better chance of getting him pregnant than winning this fight during the fight. All right. And he had another one about most of these guys just came here for tap-out shirts. Junie is going to be a funny, funny guy in the house. But anyway, the fight went on. Junie dominated most of the, the first round. Uh, Freddie had his moments. He, he caught a few knees. He caught Junie with some shots. But Junie was pretty much dominant and you know he's almost like I think Dana said another level above where Freddie was and at the end of the first round uh, Freddie just said that's it I'm not going back in there I'm 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 done and I I I agree he was done um, he was taking some pretty he was mounted and taking some pretty hard shots from the bottom before the round ended and I don't think he had much more to give Junie because Junie already proved himself. But Junie was making jokes about how he wanted to work on his cardio more in there by beating that guy's ass. And then Freddie was talking about how he had to uh, he had to preserve his good looks, which is pretty funny, flaky line. But I mean, in the end, he did kind of end up like Hitler. Uh, Hitler gave up by committing suicide and. Freddie gave up by by giving up by quitting the match and isn't that what suicide is it's just quitting life and then we got uh, that's it that's the fight uh, Junie's going to be great on the show he's going to be funny I already, they always have a cocky guy that could tell some good jokes or something you know some good one liners and Junie looks like he'll be filling that role nicely so he looks like a fun kid and I'm rooting for him too so the guys I'm rooting for are Kristoff, Felipe, and Junie. Junie Browning. It's an unusual name for a fighter, but I digress. Anyway, uh, that's it for this week. Good ep good episode. I love these first episodes with all the fights. They're fun. Uh, next week, they were, you know, they're going to do the rest of the fights. This is half of the fights. And uh, let's see, I put some notes on the, on the teaser they put out. Uh, Guy wins but doesn't make it on show. 
Uh, they showed a guy who, I guess he won the fight, but he was like wallowing in pain on the mat, you know, holding his shin. So I'm guessing he can't go on because of a broken shin or something. I don't know. It looked, or knee or something. It looked bad. So, so that's kind of a bummer. And then they said something about a really bloody fight. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I think some people are too geared towards bloody fights. It's kind of like, I mean, is it a really good fight, though? I mean, because they had that, was that, Edwin Dewey's fight from Ultimate Fighter 4? I didn't really care for that fight. Uh, was it, he's fighting Gideon Ray? That fight, it was bloody, but it was boring. Alright, so see you next week. I'm going to recap next week, too. I'm going to start doing this because it's fun, and I love the show, and it looks like a good start. Can't wait till teams are picked. See you next week.